Most of your artworks are rectangles or squares and they don't look as cute as stickers. Let's see how to turn your abstract and landscape art into more interesting sticker designs for Redbubble. Here's the art I want to sell as stickers. I think it would look cute inside a leaf. Let's find a leaf with a solid color or transparent background on a free stock photo site like Pexels. Make sure it says free for commercial use and no attribution required. Most of the images you find on Pexels or Pixabay are free for commercial use. Download the image and open in the free image editor GIMP. Let's remove the background if there is one. Mine unfortunately isn't a solid color, so it's a little more work to remove it. I'm using the fuzzy select tool and selecting chunks of the background and deleting with Ctrl X. You can set the threshold so that it selects as much of the background as possible without selecting the actual leaf. I'm using the eraser tool for removing the rest of the background and I add a contrasting color layer underneath to make sure I get all the stray pixels. Now we're ready to take the leaf onto the artwork. Right click on the leaf layer, select scale layer and change the size smaller if it's too big. Position the leaf with the move tool. I'm also copying the artwork layer in case I need it again for later. Make sure you're on the leaf layer and select the background with the select by color tool. Now let's go back to the layer where our art is. Make sure we have alpha layer added from layers, transparency and we can delete the background with Ctrl X. And hide the leaf layer and here's our sticker design. It looked a bit off, so I moved the leaf so that the landscape looks more centered inside the leaf. And this is how it looks as a sticker on Redbubble. But what might be even cuter is turning an art piece into a set of different shaped stickers. So let's repeat those steps a few more times with different shapes like flowers to make a set of stickers and upload that to Redbubble. I found a few flower images with transparent backgrounds, so let's try them on my sugar watercolor paintings. Other ideas you could use as shapes could be diamonds, hearts, feathers, candy, animals, clouds, stars, the list goes on. And actually, since these flowers aren't symmetric, it's not that clear that they are flowers. And I'm not liking this. Let's try a diamond shape instead. You can use the flip tool to make some of them mirror images if they're not exactly symmetrical or you could make them slightly different sizes. I'm merging the two diamonds into a single layer just to do the cutting a bit faster. Another thing that could do well as journal or planner stickers is making a rainbow colored sticker set by colorizing these into multiple different shades. Make sure you have one individual shape selected so if you merge them in the previous stage like I did, now you have to cut them apart again. Then go to colors and colorize to change the hue, saturation and lightness. I'm doing a blue, purple, pink and red theme for these. Sometimes when you upload a sticker set to Redbubble, this happens. Once Redbubble adds the white border on the stickers, it turns out they're actually touching each other and maybe can't be built out as individual stickers. In that case, you need to make a bigger background canvas and space them out a bit more. And now they look okay. One thing that could really crown your sticker set is adding some text. Check out this video on how to add curved text for your sticker and t-shirt designs with another free tool. See you there. Thanks for watching.